Well, ahead of Germany's digital association, Bitcom joins us now, Joachim Bühler, to talk about just that. What are our job prospects going to be in this brave new world? Are we all going to become programmers? Um, well, we have to be, become more programmers, for sure. Uh, but in, indeed, uh, the way we work and we will work will change. And the jobs we know now will change as well. And there are big chances and also big risks, and we have to prepare for it. Okay, so which jobs are going, which jobs are coming, do you think? Well, to, just to give you an example, somebody who drives a truck at the moment, uh, bringing stuff from point one to, to another, in, in times of autonomous driving, you don't need anybody anymore who has uh, to drive a truck. Other uh, um, jobs, like jobs with digital competences, IT, software developer, they will um, increase and it will be a lot of uh, people, a lot of companies who will look for them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to be a step ahead this whole time. That means education is going to play a big role. Um, how much of a role is it playing at the moment? How, how far is Germany coming along? Well, education will be a key point. It's um, the education to prepare for the digital age, to have digital competences, is one of the key facts to have a job in the future. And Germany is uh, in the middle field, and it's not enough for the fifth uh, biggest uh, economy in the world. We have to get in the top rankings, and we are not at the moment. How, how does it do that? I mean, how, how do you work out exactly what to offer for, for something that's changing so quickly right now? Yeah. Well, you have, uh, your company has to change. Software was something that enables your business and now it's becoming part of your business plan. It's becoming part of your business, business models. And that means uh, digitalization has to be an issue for the boss and you have to change your company to get in time. Okay, so it has to be part and parcel of the business model. What sort of business strategy would you then advise your clients and the people you talk to um, in adopting? Well, you first have to check where are new companies coming in your market. It's not the classical, uh, uh, you know, company that's uh, in your business. There are new tech companies coming into running business and you have to check the market. You have to develop new business models and you have to invest in software and competences to get new business models. And if you don't, it's a case of disrupt or die. I, I take us back to the case of the horse and carriage uh, moving over to the car. Yes. What, what happened back then? Well, the top 100 uh, horse and carriage companies, um, as the, the, the changing from horse carriage to cars came, there was just only one of the top 100 horse and carriage companies. There was just one left after the cars. But it was a German company. It was a least. German company, one there German company, but it closed just 10 years ago. So <laughs> changing a mobility is, does not mean that the companies stay. So you have to change your company. And I guess logistics is something that's really changing as far as 3D printing, for example, goes. For example, 3D printing will change the way logistics strategy is going. At the moment, you are trying to you know, produce in one area of the world and trying to transport it to the another area. In times of 3D printing, you just send the data and you just print your product out at home. Mm -hmm. So governments should be concentrating on education companies, on their strategy. What about consumers? What about people and, and, and workers? What, what should we be concentrating on? Well, you have to have uh, digital competences, and it's the same thing about education. If you are on the job, so train your digital competences. If you are, uh, you know, dealing with uh, digital devices and make your, yourself fit in the digital age, and it's very important for your own, for your private life, but also for your business life. I guess a good way of practicing is playing the odd online game or two every now and then. For example. Joachim yes. Buhler, thank you very much for coming in.